Hi, I'm Tom Anderson. I'm talking to you today about the adverse effects of smoking and wound healing. I work with Seven Hawkins Clinic of the Carolinas uh, and the Greenville Hospital System. Uh, you hear doctors talk a lot about smoking and how it affects things, and mostly you think about heart disease, lung cancer, and other uh, problems such as these. But I wanted today to talk a little bit about how it affects everyday things like surgery and the healing ability of surgeries. Uh, smoking, as you know, is a, a worldwide problem and it uh, affects a lot of different areas of the body. Uh, in surgery, however, uh, especially in smaller areas like the foot, which I primarily work with, it affects the blood supply that, if, that uh, is so vital to healing the areas of surgery. It does this by constricting the vessels tightly for about 20 minutes from the time the tobacco is introduced until the time it clears the system. Uh, so if someone was to smoke a pack a day, that would be 20 times 20 minutes. So during that period of time, the area so, that so greatly needs the blood supply for healing is not allowed to get it, secondary to the effects of the tobacco. So what we would like to do is try to uh, give you an understanding of this so that you can make a, a decision uh, and with your doctor about uh, stopping tobacco usage prior to undergoing uh, any type of surgery, but uh, specifically I'm speaking about bone and joint surgery. So uh, if you have a procedure like this coming up, please be open with your physician, tell them about your tobacco habits, and help iron out a pattern that will be more conducive to you healing without any problems of infection or uh, difficulty in he healing wounds.